someone please explain to me why we have to watch some silly monster movie at the drive-in? It is freezing outside. Excuse me. Attack of Humongado is not just any silly monster movie. It's a kaiju classic. Which means it was made to be seen in a drive-in, big screen, lots of snacks, and no talking! Nothing better than movie popcorn. Just be sure none of it falls under my seat. Sometimes old technology is the best. Watching on film, run through a projector. Yep, makes you feel connected with the movie's history. <laughs> Ancient history. Look at how fake the monsters look. I've cleaned scarier stuff off of my windshield. Blades is lucky he doesn't have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you, Mungado. His yellow belly would be the perfect target for a fireball. My belly's not yellow! It's sky blue, thank you very much. Guys, if you all don't stop bickering, you're gonna miss the movie. I, for one, have already lost the story subtext. Mr. Bunty, can we get some popcorn down here? Extra butter for an extra special movie? Picture. Fire! Rescue team, let's move! Everyone, please exit the outdoor cinema in an orderly fashion. Mr. Bunty is still inside the projection booth. Firebot, transform and give me a lift to the window. Mr. Bunty, we'll get you to a doctor. <sighs> Hard to tell there was even a fire. Good work, Cody. All right, ready for the roof. Thank you. The old girls never looked better. Wish I could say the same for my projector. Sorry, Mr. Bunty. Constructing a film projector from scratch is a little outside our wheelhouse. But not mine. I've brought a little gift. Using the same technology as the imaging chamber, I've created a holomorphic projector. It recalibrates the polarized light from any regular two-dimensional movie, converts it using the hollow lens, trademark pending, and Voila! A holographic movie. You mean the monsters can stomp around in the audience? They'll look close enough to grab your popcorn. Sweet! Hey, Doc, if I could find another print of Humongado, do you think we can screen it? Indubitably. And it will look more lifelike than you could ever imagine. As soon as I get this reel threaded, we'll test Doc's new hologram lens for tomorrow's grand reopening. I knew we could count on our fellow humunga dorks. Track down this new print in no time. They threw in the sequels for nothing.
Hmm. Exactly what they're worth. Ready? Wait! Cannot watch Kaiju without Nachos Del Cain. Hurry! You're missing Ravenous! And now, holographic Ravenous! <laughs> Now look what you've done. You blew a fuse. It's not a total loss. Mm. Are those nachos or are those nachos? I'm telling you guys, you missed out. The monster looked so real, it was like, it was right there in front of you. Thanks, I've had all I can take of movie monsters for a while. You just don't like any movie without kissing or stunt flying. And don't forget cute little animals. What's more awesome than bunnies singing show tunes? Riven Rock Emergency. A what? All right, Mayor, we'll be right there. A monster's munching the mayor's mansion. And no, I will not repeat that. Probably another raccoon, but let's go check it out. Cody, command center. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. running loose in Griffin Rock. Is there any other place that could happen? It must have something to do with Doc's holomorphic projector. Whatever its origins, we have to bring it down immediately. Have to is a strong phrase. Why don't we just let it fly away? Maybe to another island where we aren't? Don't worry, I got this, Blue Belly. I told you, it's Sky Blue. as if it couldn't get any creepier. We'll need to go after him. Cody, can you find a map of the tunnels under the mayor's house? Checking the database. Or we could not follow a creepy monster into a deep, dark tunnel. I'm just saying, we have options. <sighs> no one ever wants to listen to the options. In the movie, Ravenous's eyes are his weak spot. Hit him with a beam of light, it temporarily knocks him out. All right, team, let's split up. We'll each take a quadrant. Ah, good Ravenous. Good creepy thingy. Saying before, Blades, about picking scary stuff off your windshield? Yeah. Ah! Why me every time? There are others in the room, you know. Cody, call up Doc Green and tell him to meet us at the drive-in. Let him know we've got a movie monster who's ready to go home. A power fluctuation caused the lens's photonic component to overload. The surge of energy turned the hologram of Ravenous into a solid creature, an embodiment of the movie monster, complete with the original's instincts. Doc, how do we send it back? Daddy and I hooked up a dynamic pack to duplicate the conditions of the power surge. When the power reaches critical level, we'll reverse polarity. 
which should return the solid creature to its holographic state, which we can then send back into any moment of the movie. Like so. Oh dear. That wasn't in the plan. Find it! Quickly! Uh-oh. That music usually means... <gasps> Guess what we're doing tonight. Whoa, watch out! Take cover! Town. Doc, we need to go after Humongado. Can you handle Ravenous? Now that he's caged, he shouldn't be any trouble. Uh, of course, Chief. And once I fix the projector, I'll send him straight back into his movie. really hate dinosaurs or billboards dinos everybody knows that from the second sequel where humongado and ravenous team up to fight the supersaurus that's it Cade. you're a genius yeah but well, why now especially dad if the bots turn dino maybe humongado will go after them and not the town it's worth a try no one on the street so rescue bots mind going prehistoric <laughs> You heard him. Let's let Big Scaly know the Dinobots are back in town. having better luck than we are. That should do it. Now to send Ravenous back onto Celluloid where he belongs. The sooner the better, Daddy. I don't think he likes being cooped up. Just a little more power and we'll be able to reverse polarity. Was 
Sounds like Ravenous's homing call. Mungado must still want a piece of him. Then why not give old Fire Breath the opportunity? Use Ravenous's bait. A sound strategy. Lead Humongado straight to the outdoor cinema. And send him back into the movie. Movie? Try Blockbuster? And the two differ how? Enough to give those two something to fight about. Doc, how's it going with Ravenous? Well, uh, we've had a bit of a complication. Ravenous is broken free and is... Wow! Making rather a nuisance of himself. I don't suppose you could come and... Get us out of here! Frankie, are you near the Jeep? It's not really in driving condition. No, the lights. It'll take him down. Aim at his eyes. <sighs> Apparently, all it requires is a light touch. Nice going, Daddy. Thanks, Cody. Danny, Blades, you two pick up Ravenous. We'll hold Humongado here until you return. Of course, because Ravenous and I get along so well. I'll stop complaining. It's just another piece of cargo. Seriously, Danny, we'll meet you back at the drive-in. And stay outside the city. This guy's not in a good mood. Thanks for the advice, guys. I think we can handle it. Ravenous directly in front of the screen. You heard him, Danny. Almost there, Blades. Just stay a little ahead of him. Easy for you to say. Yeah! Your rear end is not on fire. We're hit. We're going down. Blades, Danny. Talk to me. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. He barely missed my swashplate. <laughs> Ravenous is loose again. That's good. They'll keep each other busy fighting. Doc, roll him to the rescue. Just another few minutes. Um, I thought you said they'd fight each other. He also said they teamed up to fight the Supersaurus. And the Rhinoctopus. And now apparently, us! So before, when Humongado was attacking the box Ravenous was in, he was trying to free him? These guys are... friends? No way. That just... makes a lot of sense, actually. And we are their common enemy. Chief! You have to keep them contained within the holographic field! Okay, Spike Gut. Enough is enough. I've had it with you. Don't have anything nice to say? Don't say anything! Shot at this. We need both creatures inside the field. Where's Blades? Now that's what the sequel should have looked like. I think maybe you'd better retire that lens, Doc. 
Or only use it on cute little animal movies. Humongado and Ravenous, friends. This adds a whole new layer of meaning. I'll have to rewatch the entire series. But the two creatures fight as well. How can they be friends? Just like a few humans I know, not mentioning any names. Danny and Kate. Us? How about you and Heatwave? Oh, Heatwave and I don't. We don't. Actually, I guess we do. Yeah, you're right. Okay, tomorrow night, we screen Humongado and all the sequels, this time without Doc's special lens. Who's up for it? I guess I'll call Bunty. Thanks, guys. Means a lot more with all of you here. That's what family does. We can still complain too, right? Cause it hasn't gotten any warmer. And where are the cute little animals? Heatwave, you told me th 